Hey everyone, what's up? Well, in the last video I just showed you how to water your teas and I was explaining earlier that one of my teas is molted. My last year are difficilis, the Brazilian fire and bird eater. So in this video I'm actually going to show you how I sex her molt and we'll see if it's a male or a female. As well as I'll give you an update on how to tell if your tarantula is in pre-molt because it's a very common reoccurring question and I actually have one that's actually in pre-molt. So, uh, let's go show you the one that's in pre-molt first. So here is my Placidora Fracta, Brazilian Smoky Gray Bird Eater. And lo and behold, she's in pre-molt. Kind of fairly quickly because she molted, I think, three or four months ago. So basically this is how you tell if your tea's in pre-molt. For New Worlds it's pretty simple. If they throw their urticating hairs and they have a bald spot, well, you notice that bald spot turned into a blackish-blue color that you see right over here. That's a sure indication that it is in pre-molt. Other signs include profuse web building, uh, refusing to eat. You'll notice that the colors are starting to fade a little bit, as well as sometimes it'll be very defensive and other times if there's a hide provided the teeth might just go into the hide and might block itself. That's a sure way indication as in pre-molt. With an old world species like your Hapopalma lividum or your OBT or your P. regalis, pre-molt's behavior is not always easy to tell because of their not ability to throw their urticating hair. So the only time you'll see whether or not your old world's in pre-molt is Profuse web building and refusing to eat. Here's another tea that just freshly molted. A suspect male, surprisingly still not mature yet, uh, the P. fasciata, Sri Lankan ornamental. Really cool guy, he's approximately four inches. As you can see, no bulbous pulps yet. And don't forget, happy eating marin, my Thrixopalma sanulum, the cobalt red rum, has also molted. Now she's around three quarters of an inch and looking awesome. All right, so let's go look at my Elda Facilis and then we'll suck her molt. Okay, so here's her molt. And what a perfect way to make a video of this because again a lot of people are concerned about you know having her tea lose a leg and what's gonna happen will it be alright well here's Dora's molt unfortunately uh, she had a missing leg as you can see we count the legs one two three four five six seven when there surely should be eight so again here's her molt if I just measure her from leg span to leg span She's approximately 12 and a half centimeters, which is around five inches. As you can see, it's very female. Right here, Dester spermathici. And this is what she looks like now. As you can see, we had a missing leg right over here, and now it looks like that's been fully regenerated. She's definitely gotten a lot chunkier now. You can see she's pretty built, and I'm assuming she's around five and a half inches. I'm just going to move her a little bit. So you can see what she looks like. Camera's not really picking up the colors, but uh, she's more of like a bluish color to her. She's just amazing. So that's pretty much how you sex your molt to 
be a female, as well as to give you an update on my collection. And tomorrow is February 29th, and it's a leap year. So I'm going to be making two good videos that everyone is probably going to enjoy. Alright, thanks everyone for watching, and hope you like it.